if there's a fast food restaurant that's synonymous with Southern California, it's In-N-Out Burger. And today we're in Baldwin Park to visit the chain's birthplace and a replica of the very first In-N-Out. We've traveled to Francisquito Avenue in Baldwin Park, California, where the very first In-N-Out was built in 1948. Near the spot where the first restaurant was located is a replica of the original In-N-Out. This is a pretty cool view right here, where you can see the original 1948 In-N-Out sign, the 1954 version of the sign, and the modern sign across the freeway, all in a line. In-N-Out was founded by Harry and Esther Snyder, and the first restaurant opened a few hundred feet from here on October 22, 1948, at 4.15 p.m. The actual location of the first In-N-Out would have been where Interstate 10 is now. In 1948, when that first In-N-Out opened, Baldwin Park was still a farm community with fields, chicken and turkey farms, and dairies. What a difference 70 plus years makes. In 1954, when Interstate 10 was built, In-N-Out moved to this location. In the early 2000s, they decided this spot wasn't large enough, so they built a new restaurant on the other side of the freeway, and this replica of the original was put here in 2014. In-N-Out was the first drive through hamburger stand in California, and they pioneered the use of the two-way speaker system, which Harry Snyder built in his garage. Up to this point, drive-up hamburger stands would use car hops to take orders and deliver food to your car. In-N-Out has always had a short, simple menu, excluding the secret menu, of course. Having a simple menu was inspired by a restaurant Harry Snyder lived by called Johnny No Bone Steakhouse. One thing In-N-Out used to sell in its early days that is thankfully no longer on the menu are cigarettes. They also used to sell soda in bottles, which continued until 1958. The first In-N-Out replica is only open from 11 to 2 on Thursday through Sunday, but if you get a chance to stop by during those times, it's definitely worth it because it's kind of cool to see what it would have been like to be at an In-N-Out in the late 1940s. It's pretty fun to check out and play with all the vintage equipment. And you see some interesting things there, such as this washing machine that was used to wash the potatoes. One thing at the first In-N-Out replica that you'll find that isn't vintage to the 1940s though, is the crossed palm trees that you'll find at pretty much every In-N-Out. One of In-N-Out founder Harry Snyder's favorite movies was It's a Mad 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 World, which features characters racing to find treasure buried under crossed palm trees. Because each In-N-Out store was Harry's treasure, a tradition of planting cross palm trees at In-N-Out began in 1972. All right, now that we've taken a look at the replica of the original In-N-Out, we're gonna head under the freeway and check out the In-N-Out company store and then grab a bite to eat. Here's a look at about where you would have found that first In-N-Out if you would have come here in 1948. Across the freeway from the replica of the first In-N-Out, you'll find the In-N-Out Company Store, which has a ton of merchandise, including some pretty surprising items, to say the least. Inside the Company Store, you can find dozens of different t-shirts. If there's a particular In-N-Out t-shirt you're looking for, they probably have it here. And along with t-shirts, you can find things like hats, baby clothes, shoes, some women's clothes that are surprisingly suggestive for In-N-Out, blankets, things like lunch boxes, jewelry, clothes for dogs, and even in and out underwear. And if you buy anything as a gift, you can even wrap it in some in and out wrapping paper. I had no idea there is so much different in and out merchandise in the world. 
Attached to the store is in and out University, where the company trains its managers. And right across the parking lot from the store is an actual working in and out which is going to come in handy because all this in and out talk has made us hungry. It's always amazing when you go to an in and out how many people are working there, especially as compared to other fast food chains. And after all these years, the company still has that simple basic menu. On this visit, we got two hamburgers and a cheeseburger protein style with three fries, with one of the fries being well done, which is the best way to get your fries, and a strawberry milkshake. Let us know in the comments how you get your burger at In-N-Out. Now that we've filled up on In-N-Out, it's time to head off on our next adventure. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.